Hi, this is Lynn with Extreme Virtual Support. Today is the last in our four-part series of Microsoft Office 2013, What is New and Cool. And as with the other programs, when you first start into Excel, it'll bring you to this, uh, this backstage view where there's all kinds of templates that you can use. And some of these are just beautiful. They don't even look like Excel. Uh, we're, we are going to go and take the tour in a minute, but I wanted to show you some things kind of in the backstage area that are new with this version of Excel. In the save save as part, you can set up your SkyDrive. I've got two different SkyDrive accounts and I also have a, a SharePoint which, which is an Office 365 place to share and it will default to one of your SkyDrive accounts and that's nice to do then you can have things saved in the cloud but say you don't want to save it to there and you want to just save it on your computer by default, you can go down here to your options, click on save, and then over here is where you tell it where you want it to save. And you can see, you can uh, unclick that, save to computer by default. Um, there's other options here if you want to look over that, where, where your things are saved at. Auto recover, this is where things are saved if, if your computer shuts down or something like that. Just some kind of neat things there. So you can just say OK. And some other nice things are you can share now. Uh, since I've already saved this to my, it has to be saved to your SkyDrive before you can share it. So I can either invite people by email or I can go get a sharing link and and I can set it up for just viewing or editing and I can even post it to a social network if I wanted to. Of course then there's always email and look at all these different options of how to save it. That's that's really pretty nice. But let's go back to our little tour and I wanted to show you some uh, nice charting features that it has. It says hours saved in a day. I don't know about hours but anyway let's go take a look. Here's first is a flash fill, and this is really nice. I, this would have been nice to have had years ago, but you just start filling in a couple names, and then it'll just fill it in for you, which is really quite nice. And if we go on to some of the charting features that are new, they'd say just highlight all of your chart, and then you have this quick analysis tool, and you can click on that, and it'll give you different options for different kinds of charts. And it'll just fill it in here automatically for you. Um, I kind of like this one, text contains. If you click on something, you know, if I want to type in here education, it'll just highlight that. And then you can even further go and tell it what you want it to fill with. So that that's really kind of nice. It just finds things for you. You don't have to bother with sorting and things like that. And then going on to the next example, another place where we fill this in. And this time we're going to look at what their, in, their recommended charts are. So you go to the insert menu and we're going to click on that. And here are a lot of charts. And you can just click on them for an instant look at what it could look at, look like. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And then this is what's really powerful, I think. If you want to put your axis in there, your titles, your data labels, I mean, you can do all kinds of things here and I used to do charts a lot and this would have saved me a whole lot of time. So I'm just going to choose that. You can also um, change some of these if you don't want to show some of them for whatever reason. You can also change the color and the style. It, it's just it's just amazing the things that you can do that, that are really nice and make it really easy. So those are the tips that I wanted to show you for today and uh, I hope you get out there and try some of these. You can also use Try Out Excel for free for a while. Um, you can visit Microsoft Office and learn about that. If you have any questions about this series or you want to leave any comments, I'd love to have them. Just leave them on my blog. Thank you.